Let's understand stress through Yin's attitude or through Yin's worldview, a guide for beginners. This evening's lesson is drawn from uh, Shakyamuni's easy Dzogchen. In the contemporary Tibetan tradition, over the last, oh gosh, how many hundred years has it been? Four, six, uh, I guess over the last 600 years or so, um, I guess no, over the last 400 years, a tradition has developed in Tibet known as Ngondro, or preliminary practices. The, one of the outer preliminary practices is an exploration of the concept of suffering. As we've mentioned previously, according to Sturgeon's Law, 90% of everything is crap, including meditation teachers. It should not therefore surprise us that 90% of meditation teachers are really fond of being rigid, fearful, uh, controlling, elitist, cryptic, competitive, and cruel. Armed with this uh, worldview, people teach suffering in a way it is, it is downright coercive. It's downright it's designed to frighten people into uh, an analog of morality. But fear is antithetical to the spiritual path. Or I should say, the path of peace is not paved with fear. If we deliberately terrorize ourselves or terrorize others, it's not going to benefit them in the long run. So, having said that, let's go over a chant real quickly together. Those who tread the path of being use the awareness of stress to frighten us into an analog of morality. But upon this path of being the awareness of stress rules or empathy. We are fundamentally self-centered. The great irony of the spiritual path is that we can harness that self-centeredness to feed our empathy. That's what Mother Nature did. We all complex life forms have something called mirror neurons, so that which just plays a huge part in um, a child's maturation and the interpersonal reactions to any society, whether it be a herd or a pack or a tribe. When we feel others' pain as our pain or others' joy as our joy, that is empathy. So when there is a very special way of using empathy to fuel our love for others. And all love is is a desire to meet others' needs. So if we are experiencing the stress of enduring something that's painful and we want it away from us, then the loving response is to want to free others from stress. If we're experiencing uh, the stress of deprivation, there's something we want or need and we can't have it, and we're in resistance to that, then we feel the desire that others be freed from that deprivation as well. That's reflected in the silent recitation. May I note others' stress. From this perspective, Stress is lay, percept, uh, giving ourselves permission to notice other stress is laying the foundation of enhancing our empathy. There are a lot of people who are really stressed out, emotionally and physically and both. And a lot of these people will say, it's not good for my mental health to pay any attention to any one of the three genocides occurring concurrently right now, this week, across the globe. And on one hand, it's good to know our limitations and what we can and can't marinate in for an excessive amount of time. But on the other hand, we don't want to close our eyes and say, there's no problem. We don't want to be like that... Uh, wonderful quip from that Steve, Stephen Colbert made 
decades ago. This just in, world hunger is over because my tummy is full. So we don't want to be so self-centered that we choose to turn a deaf ear to the cries of others. So we want to do, practice our empathy in a sustainable way. In the care industry, ranging, ranging from uh, physicians to uh, medical assistants, there's something called, there's something that is described as a compassion fatigue. And compassion fatigue is what happens when we don't have sustainable strategies actively running in our lives. Um, for instance, I once uh, tried making a cookbook with a friend and she was a systems engineer. So she was very, very methodical. And we'd, uh, we'd go shopping for ingredients. We'd write a recipe, we'd cook the recipe. And I, my, in my thinking, I was like, hey, we've done the dishes and uh, we put the stuff jars away, we're done. But she's like, no, we're not done till we actually sweep the floor and take out the trash. And so her cooking, her kitchen management was more sustainable than mine. Similarly, we, uh, we have evolved to be empathetic, whether we want to or not. We have re evolved to have a visceral, endocrinological, neurological reaction to the sufferings of others. We can't just blow that off. We have to be methodical in our self-care. We have to say, okay, in order to cope with the three-ring shit show that is humanity and all the ways it abuses itself, there's things I need to do to make sure I can manage. I need to get enough sleep. I need to get enough sunshine, fresh air, exercise, sustainable recreation. I need to eat healthy. Um, all these, I need to have uh, supportive friendships. I need to have people I can talk to. These are things that support our mental health so that we, in turn, can support others' mental health. Think of it this way. Not all romantic relationships work out. Sometimes they end in a breakup. And sometimes our partner initiates the breakup. Sometimes we initiate the breakup. And if we're a good person, we want to break up in the least traumatic way possible. We don't strive to be cruel. Um, we strive to be kind and succinct and helpful. Now, some people aren't. Some people find empowerment in cruelty. Some people find empowerment in just being selfish. And it's like, I'm going to ghost this person. I don't care what they think or feel. I'm going to protect myself. So deliberate cruelty in the name of self-empowerment is does not make us a good person. Deliberately uh, disregarding the thoughts and feelings of others for the sake of personal self-care doesn't make us a good person. Sometimes we have to choose to, be, to take one for the team and say, I'm going to do what's uncomfortable because it's the kind thing to do. And sometimes that's very, very difficult. But it's better to do something that's difficult than live with regret, knowing that we had an opportunity to be kind and we didn't. Let me wrap this up in a big red bow. Choosing to be vulnerable towards the stress of others is necessary if we are to grow on the path of empathy and love and compassion. The difficulty or at ease with which we do it is a litmus test of the sustainable of how sustainable a manner we are leading 
our life. I do look forward to chanting and meditating with you after approximately 30 seconds of housekeeping. This is Lama Jigme Gyatso of the Buddha Joy Meditation School. For more than 30 years, I've spent more than eight hours a day every day studying, practicing, mastering, and reverse engineering the teachings and techniques of each sect of Buddhism so that you would not have to. Welcome to Meditate Like a Jedi, which is made possible due to the generosity of viewers just like you. So I spent a lot of time refining to the latest iteration of Shakyamuni's Easy Dzogchen. There are subtle changes I've made, but I'm excited about them, and I hope you will enjoy them as well. To paraphrase the advice I got from an aging warehouse manager, I'm trying to write myself out of a job so that I do less teaching and we do more chanting so that you feel more empowered and more viscerally trained. The Buddha taught in the second to the last chapter of the Satipatthana Sutta that there is a way to teach the Dharma so that those who are your students, master it in only seven days. Well, that's how you meant master it mentally. Mastering it physically assumes you are comfortable with sitting in meditation for 75 minutes. If you're not, you can train yourself to sit for five minutes once every 12 hours the first week, bump that up to 10 minutes every 12 hours the second week, 15 minutes every 12 hours the third week, and so forth. By the conclusion of the 16th week, you will have conditioned your body to sustainably sit in meditation. If you blend this with uh, attending these live streams, live or in person, I'm sorry, live or recorded, uh, five minutes twice a day the first week, 10 minutes twice a day the second week, and by the conclusion of the 16th week, you could be ready. You could have mastered the Buddha's path. I'm kind of a well-spoken idiot. Ask anyone I've ever dated. They'll agree. I can do it. You can do it. And so my job is to make this just as easy for you as possible. Let's dig in. The mode of operandi is to flip and flop between mantra meditation and silent meditation. So let's review this mantra's meaning. With whom we invoke the example of the Muni wise one, Muni wise one, Maho greatly wise one, Muni ye of the Shakya Soha, wishing enlightenment for all. We're going to begin with. Lama Kyeno, which translates into English as calling the teacher as from afar. Taken figuratively, this is a form of energy work that helps us to practice bliss and letting go. Good old, the late Chagdud Tulku used to say, if you're a big old, I'm paraphrasing, if you're a big old horn dog, then you'll want to practice bliss and letting go. It's known by many names, such as Completion Stage, Bindu Mahamudra, Anu Yoga, Tikle Drop, which is short for Channels, Winds, and Drops, or uh, Tantra Alpak, or Mugandra. The image of Shakyamuni reminds us of our Buddha nature, that we are already equipped neurologically for mindfulness and meditation and empathy. This copulating couple overhead literally reminds us of the teachings and figuratively reminds us of the real or imagined energy that we invite to coalesce above our head. During our inhalation, we could silently and mentally recite, Lama, come to this crown. During our exhalation, we can physically relax as best we can while striving to chant the, this 12, these 12 syllables four times per breath. 
Together, let's practice. Om Muni Muni Mahamuni Suwa 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 I think this looks prettier if I use some lowercase letters. And now we're going to rest in meditation. But how do we do that? How do we do practice silent meditation? There are four big steps we can take to get really good at, at mindfulness and meditation. The first step is kind of like having two training wheels. We're going to begin by exploring the idea of mindfulness. Every time we inhale, whether we know it or not, we are accessing the sympathetic nervous system, found not in the big old brain in our head, but in the spinal cord, specifically the thoracic region. It evolved not to support either extreme of mind blanking or concentrating, but instead to simply notice and to do so vulnerably, passively, viscerally, and randomly. This vulnerability is... Uh, demonstrated in the meditation archetype in, in in the nudity of the meditation archetype known are described in Sanskrit as Samantabhadra, Samantabhadri, Karma Mundra. So if we're not gonna concentrate on our breath, what's our relationship to the breath? Our relationship to the breath is the same is the same relationship shared by a a uh, piano student with a metronome. As we notice that we're breathing in, we silently and mentally recite, perceiving this very turbulent play of mind. When we notice we're exhaling, we silently and mentally recite, perceive, relaxing into mind's non-graspable nature. I don't know about you, but I found it to be virtually impossible possible to both be uptight and relax. So you might say that these exercises, when done properly, or self-correcting. Let's practice. It has been said by those more insightful than myself that any educated idiot can make things more complicated, more difficult, and more violent. However, it takes a lot of courage and a little bit of genius to move in the opposite direction. It's my desire to make the mastery of the Buddha's Eightfold Path as easy and as quick, for, and as, quick as is possible.
Let us begin this evening's outer preliminary practices, which could be described in Sanskrit as Sutra Alpak, or in Tibetan as Do Gondro. Bear in mind, I'm not a linguist. So if, you, if someone was to tell me there are better ways, I would have to acquiesce. Come, let us chant. Just as we chanted during the opening sequence, let us chant again. Those who tread the path of being a use the awareness of stress to frighten us into an analog of morality. But upon this path of being the awareness of stress fuels our empathy. As we breathe in, let us silently and mentally recite, May I note others... Whoopsie, wrong button. May I note others' stress. Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 So... FMR, FMRI studies have shown that concentrating and contemplating can make us cranky sons of guns. So what we're trying to do is tame contemplation and practice it viscerally and passively so we get all the benefits of contemplation without the hindrances. Let's chant. Those who tread the path of being use the awareness of interdependence to frighten us into an analog of morality. But upon this path of being the awareness of causality reminds us that our love can lighten others' loans. May my help, may my love help others. Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 Those who tread the path of being use the awareness of impermanence to frighten us into an analog of morality but upon this path of yin, the awareness of impermanence feels all wisdom of letting go. Seeing change fuels release. Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 those who tread the path of being use the awareness of the preciousness of all meditation opportunities to frighten us into neuronic diligence. But upon this path of being as we joyfully flow from the effortless But upon this path of being we joyfully flow from the effortless effort of love-centered spontaneity. Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 Having chanted the mantra an additional 32 times, I'm sorry, 16 times, let us remove the first of two metaphoric training wheels and prepare to reduce the length of our meditation from 12 syllables down to just three. We've already discussed mindfulness, so now let's explore meditation. During our inhalation, we could, ex we could be vulnerable to sights, sounds, sensations, flavors, scents, and the like, as well as emotions, intentions, thoughts, memories, and imaginings. What are we to do with all that stuff? 
that that brings us to meditation for every time we exhale whether we know it or not we access the parasympathetic nervous system ensconced within both the lower lumbar region as well as the tippy top of the cervical region and has evolved to support our both our physical relaxation as well as our mental release now let's put this together Every time we relax into our exhalation, whatever we notice during our previous inhalation could begin to feel less graspable. Now, let us sprinkle a bit of the old figurative language upon it. Why do we do that? Because we have evolved to think symbolically. Every time we relax into our exhalation, whatever we notice during our previous inhalation could begin to feel as if it was as non-graspable as a vast, empty void. Now, what is a real-world example of a non-graspable, vast, empty void? How about the illusion of the infinite azure sky on a bright and beautiful cloudless morn? which although could be tantalizing to the eye, is intangible to the hand. We could practice perception during our inhalation as silently and mentally we recite sitting tall, reminding our body to generate a vertical traction between our tachas and our head. We can practice release during our exhalation as silently and mentally we recite relaxing. Let us turn our attention to the inner preliminary practices known as Tantra Alpak or Gyu Gondro. Together. In our empathy, may we long to free all beings from the tyranny of hate, engraving, and confusion. Quick note. Good old uh, Chagdud Tulku used to say, the antidote to hating is Maha Yoga, the antidote to craving is Anu Yoga, and the antidote to confusion is Ati Yoga, all three of which we practice in this text while well, we've already done both Anu Yoga and Ati Yoga. Let's continue. Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 Together In our pragmatism may our liberation of all others be fueled by your reliance on the Buddha's example, instructions, and students. Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 Om 
Rather than squander all time and energy and defensiveness, how much wiser could it be to learn the lessons from all mistakes that flow from the centered spontaneity of mindfulness and meditation? Together. A life spent in competition and greed leads not to peace and fulfillment. Better it is to live in cooperation and generosity. In the past, I had people teach me to concentrate and contemplate, and it made me cranky and it made them cranky, congesting our blood around our anxious and aggressive amygdalas. Later, I had the very good fortune to encounter teachers who told me to replace concentration with mindfulness and contemplation with meditation. And the blood began to habitually dissipate from around the amygdala and gather around the anterior cingulate gyrus, about three centimeters or so, a few centimeters behind our forehead, which functions as the hub of our mirror neurons, the seat of empathy, the, which is the effortless byproduct of mindfulness and meditation. Perhaps that is why this meditational archetype known as uh, all good one mother and father, is depicted as beautiful. During our perceptive inhalation, we could silently and mentally recite to notice this. During our releasing exhalation, we could silently and mentally recite, relax. Welcome to this evening's live stream. The moment you have a specific question about Buddhist chanting, Buddhist meditation, Buddhist philosophy, or how to apply them, simply type your question in great detail in the chat window. Let us bring Guru Yoga, which is also known as Lama Naljor, into the path of energy work that supports our practice of bliss and letting go. Oh, 
O Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 At last, we remove the second of two metaphoric training wheels, reducing the duration of our meditation from three syllables down to just one. We've explored mindfulness. We've explored meditation. We have explored how mindfulness and meditation generate empathy. And that the highest love is spontaneous and uncontrived. Consider, if you will, the scowl, the color of a cumulus cloud, actively sporting in tantric union. Do, she, uh, doing so, she reminds us of the superiority of spontaneity to contrivance. Now consider her partner passively savoring the same tantric union. This reminds us that not all spontaneity is created equal, and that... Uh, Scattered spontaneity is trumped by that which is centered. It has been said, it has been observed, that when our choices, utterances, and deeds flow from the effortless effort of love's centered spontaneity, our life can be like a Buddha's paradise, a pure land, or vanti, uh, reminiscent of that which was described by the paints of Maxfeld Parish. As we perceive during our inhalation, as we perceptively inhale, we could silently and mentally recite the demonstrative pronoun this. And as we release into our exhalation, we could silently and mentally recite the one-syllable verb ease which functions as a synonym of relax. Having climbed to contemplative cruising altitude, together as a team, let us meditate as transformatively as young Luke Skywalker on Degoba under the guidance of Yoda. Welcome to the this evening's live stream. The moment you have a specific question about Buddhist chanting, Buddhist meditation, Buddhist philosophy, or their application, simply type your question in great detail in the chat window. Let us bring our experience of the four bases of mindfulness, the circumstantial, the physical, the interpersonal, and the mental, into the path, into, oopsie, this is an editing opportunity, into the conventional path
of love and letting go that emphasizes love. This is known by many names, including generation or creation stage, Tantra Mahamudra, Maha Yoga, or Tokal's Leap Over Jealousy. Kind of like, you know, spiritual pole vaulting. They tried teaching me that in junior high school. I was convinced it was going to kill me. I was going to die. <laughs> Let's chant. So what we're going to do is this. When, during our, here's the secret to mantra meditation. You got to breathe. So while we breathe, we're going to silently and mentally recite a very concise but cryptic loving wish. The, we're going to add meaning to this very cryptic wish by chanting a very ex elaborate version of the same wish. This kind of like decodes the metaphors that we're going to play with. Let's jump in. Oh yeah, by the way, it's not our job to work magic. It's not our job to actively visualize. It's not our job to emote. It's not our job uh, to believe. We're simply playing with words in a way that's going to make it easier and easier for us to be as loving as our dogs already think we are. Together. May all minds of all beings now be as peaceful as was as the mind of the Buddha of law symbolized by ethically one suitable seed or bisha mantra. Oh, so when chanting the mantra, we want to physically relax as best we can while striving to re-chant these 12 syllables four times per breath. Oh, muni muni ma muni so wa. 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 Together. May all relationships of all beings now be as joyfully loving as a real or imagined Buddhist communication symbolized by the twelve suitable mantra. Oh, Muni Muni Mahamuni Yesawa. 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 May all bodies of all beings now enjoy the beautiful health depicted in Buddhist art of the blissful body of a Yidam of lower and octave of enlightenment such as Shakyamuni. So we don't think of this as a god or a goddess. We think of it as an archetype reminding us that we too can become Buddhas. Oh, Muni Muni Mahamuni Yesawa. 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 Together. May all circumstances or lots of all beings now have the good fortune open as a Buddha's real. Real or imagined paradise, pure land of all team. Oh, Muni Muni Mahamuni Yesawa. 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 The English translation of this archetype's name is All Good One. It is said by Zen Master Dogen that the very act of Zazen is enlightenment itself. That is a metaphor. It is said by the founder of Dzogchen, Prahevajra, that we are already enlightened. That is a metaphor. Now, let's reverse engineer it. Each of us 
has the parasymp the sympathetic nervous system to practice mindfulness, the parasympathetic nervous system to practice meditation, and the anterior cingulate gyrus to practice empathy. We are already equipped to practice the path, and all we need to do is master it, which we can do in a remarkably short period of time in a non-Herculean method or requiring non-Herculean effort. As we breathe in, you could perceive what's going on as silently and mentally you recite the demonstrative pronoun this. As you uh, exhale, you could release as silently and mentally you recite the one-syllable verb ease. Let us again, let us bring the experience of the four bases of mindfulness into the oopsie, ultimate path of love and letting go that emphasizes letting go. Now we're going to leap over pride. Together. How is it that as we inhale all lots of circumstances could appear quite vivid? Yet as we relax into our exhalation, they could feel as not graspable of what is a real or imagined paradise or what of light. Om Mani Om Muni Muni Mahamuni Sawa 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 How is it that as we inhale all bodies or forms could feel quite sensual? Yet as we relax into our exhalation, they could feel as no grasp of bull or void as a real or imagined octopi or yet a of light. Om Muni Muni Mahamuni Sawa 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 How is it that as we inhale the interpersonal experience or communication, oh, sorry, of communication or speech could sound quite resounding? Yet as we relax into our exhalation, it can feel as no graspable or what is a real or imagined mantra of light.
How is it that as we inhale, we can notice all minds, perceptions, emotions, intentions, cognitions, recollections, and imaginings quite clearly? Yet as we relax into our exhalation, they could feel as non graspable or void as a real or imagined be just its syllable of light. Om muni muni ma muni yeswa 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 We have all sorts of thoughts. We can think about the external, we can think about the internal. We can think about the pleasurable, we can think about the painful. We can think about the interesting, we can think about the boring. We can think about the glorious, we can think about the uh, grotesque. But no matter what thought cartwheels drunkenly across the stage of our mind, as we breathe in, we're wired to notice it. As we breathe out, breathe, and as we exhale, we're wired to release. Having chanted the 12 syllable mantra 16 times, let us watch the play of mind as silently and mentally we recite this and relax into mind's non graspable nature as silently and mentally we recite ease. Let us bring the horizontal duality of us and them into the dance of impermanence and interdependence known as the yoga of inconceivability. What can it look like if all circumstances or lots were sturdy and impermanently melted into rainbow light that interdependently absorbed into this body or form? Oh, Muni Muni Ma Muni Yeswa. 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 What could it feel like of all forms or bodies blissfully and impermanently melted into rainbow light that interdependently absorbed into this communicational speech? Oh. 
Muni muni ma muni yesuwa o muni muni ma muni yesuwa o muni muni ma muni yesuwa o muni muni ma muni yesuwa What could it sound like if all interpersonal speech was fully and impermanently melted into rainbow light that interdependently absorbed into this mind? What could it be like if all minds was fully and impermanently melted into rainbow light that interdependently absorbed into a vast empty void? Like the illusion of the infinite outer sky on a bright and beautiful cloud this morn, which although tantalizing to thee, I could be not graspable to the end. Having chanted the mantra sixteen times, let us watch the play of mind and relax into its non-graspable nature. Let us bring the five aggregates into the path of awareness and letting go. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever body or home we might have, we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as non graspable as a vast empty void. Ah, look at that. Okay. Oh, muni muni ma muni yesu wa. 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 As we relax into our exhalation, whatever feelings, such as pleasure, pain, or neither, we may have noticed during our inhalation, could begin to feel as not graspable do as a vast empty void. Whoops, did it again. Whoop, there it is. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever a praise or a pleasure, pleasure, pain. 
I forgot a conjunction. How sloppy. A pleasure of pains and tensity or volume we may have noticed during or inhalation could begin to feel as non graspable as a vast empty void. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever impulse, such as pushing, pulling, or clinging, we may have noticed during our inhalation, could begin to feel as non graspable as a vast empty void. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever awareness of perception, emotion, intention, cognition, recollection, or imagining. We might, we may have noticed during or inhalation, could begin to feel as not graspable as a vast empty void. Let us, having chanted the mantra twenty times, let us rest. Let us transcend the vertical duality of samsara and nirvana by metaphorically inviting all the real or imagined Buddhas, their paradises, and their denizens to dwell in the 84,000 pores of our skin, thus practicing the body mandala of duality awareness and non-dualities release. Oh, look at that. I done messed up the display. Let me try to fix that bad boy. Here we go. Oh, 
Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 Well, that, yeah, okay, never mind. Let us bring the five body regions into the path of awareness and letting go. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever lower abdomen we might have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as non graspable as a real or imagined, um, uh, as real or imagined, um, city suitable of green lines. Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 As we relax into our exhalation, whatever navel we might have noted, we may have noticed during our inhalation. Good begin to feel as non graspable as real or imagined Rana Sambhava suitable drum of gold light. Whoops. Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 As we relax into our exhalation, whatever just we may have noticed during our inhalation. We could begin to feel this non graspable as a real or imagined actual bits of the blue light. Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 As we relax into our exhalation, whatever threat we may have noticed during our inhalation, could feel it, could begin to feel as non graspable as real or imagined, or made up as edible, free of red light. Om Muni Muni Ma 
muni yesu wa om muni muni ma muni yesu wa om muni muni ma muni yesu wa om muni muni ma muni yesu wa As we relax into whatever ground or scalp we may have noticed during our inhalation, could begin to feel as non graspable as real or imagined vitrogen as a little bloom of white lines. Om Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesuwa 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 As we inhale into the recitation of the demonstrative pronoun this, we could watch the play of mind. As we exhale, into the silent and mental recitation of the one-syllable verb ease, we could relax into the non-graspable nature of mind. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever jealousy we might have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as not graspable as all accomplishing wisdom. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever pride we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as non graspable as equalizing wisdom. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever hate we might have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as non graspable as mirror like wisdom. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever grief we might have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as non graspable as discerning wisdom. Oh. 
As we relax into our exhalation, whatever confusion we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as not graspable as all pervasive wisdom. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever scent we may might we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as not graspable as a vast empty void. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever flavor we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as not graspable as a vast empty void. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever sensation we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as not graspable as a vast empty void. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever sound we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as not graspable as a vast empty void.
Om muni muni ma muni yesu wa 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 As we relax into our exhalation, whatever sight we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel it is not graspable as a vast empty void. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever emotion we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as not graspable as a vast empty void. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever intention we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as not graspable as a vast empty void. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever cognition we may have noticed during our inhalation. Could begin to feel as not graspable as a vast empty void. Om muni muni ma muni yesuwa. 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 As we relax into our exhalation, whatever recollection we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as not graspable as a vast empty void. Whoops. Om 
ma muni yesu wa o muni muni ma muni yesu wa o muni muni ma muni yesu wa as we relax into our exhalation, whatever imagining we may have noticed during our inhalation could begin to feel as no graspable borders of vast empty void. Relaxing into this. Let us bring let us bring the spontaneous play of mind into the path of awareness and letting go. This is our final meditation of the evening, so do make a count. As silently and mentally we recite the demonstrative pronoun this, during our inhalation we could watch the play of mind. As during our exhalation we silently and mentally recite the one-syllable verb ease, we can relax into mind's non-graspable nature.
Let us seal this evening's practice with a love that wishes for the universal mastery of Buddha's Eightfold Path. May all master letting go in love as well as kind communication, conduct, and calmness. May all master the effortless effort of love-centered spontaneity as well as mindfulness and meditation. If you feel that I have earned it, you could give this live stream a thumbs up. You could even help support this channel. In approximately a ten and a half hours, I would very much like to return to lead tomorrow's early meditation class and group practice. And if you are as geeky as me, may the force be with you always.